that's at least like a six. It's just like, yeah, I don't know what to say. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's just wow, wow. And she's comforting her and also hugging her. She is like, she covered IU on the Billy channel and now you wrote this song and now you're like congratulations also in a way for something like that like an IU produced title track so I'm just 1019 we seven now yeah, I'm not gonna slide past that like you ain't just hear that we seven now like now we for a second we what but now we seven again and that's like part of the theme of the album and it's uh, yo Hey friends, welcome to my video. Thanks for clicking on my thumbnail. Glad you're with that like team. Now today, believes we are here because we are finally checking out Billy's new title track that they dropped about a week ago, entitled. Well, I'm pretty sure the English translation is like George or whatever, like the name George. But I, I, look, it's Billy, so the lore is probably crazy. I see Snowy Man here. I know it's first OT7 comeback that we've officially had in a while. I already checked out Trampoline. Been listening to that a lot for like a week straight because I checked it out like a week ago. Here's the thing, I've just been really busy, I had so much real life work and stuff to do that I never ended up getting around to the music video to right now, but I'm so excited this is finally Billy's comeback, as well as I'm pretty sure IU wrote this title track, which is so cool, because like so many people, including Billy members, including myself, look up to IU and think IU's amazing. I'm just realizing, why is Snowy Man tied up though? I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, but whatever. Then we also have Blue Rose. Back to the Basics, BTTB, um, Shame, that's a cool name for a song, and here we go again with these Billy titles, Dream Diary, Etching memory, me, me, Memories of Midnight, Yup, Reverie, Reverie, Memories, Reverie, I don't, I, Yup! <laughs> so we have the album. So here's the thing, right? We already had Trampoline. Gave that like a solid 9 out of 10. Now we have this title track. I'm so excited to watch this music video. See what this era's hitting for. You know me. I fucking love Billy. And OT7. I've, in my own time actually, been... Uh, in the last video I said, Oh, Billy has this, this little variety show. I kind of want to... I might need to watch that in my own time. I started watching it. I'm only two episodes in so far. But it was really fun. I watched that a few nights ago when I had some free time. And... Oh, uh, yeah, I probably should have just reacted to this instead, but like, I, well, here we are now. I'm, fi I'm finally here, so I'm excited. We're gonna get to it. Um, without any further ado, better late than ever, this is Billy's new era. Let's get into it. Okay, so before we get into it, I need you to make sure that you like the official and original video on Billy's channel to support this comeback, support this title track, support this music video and the directing that's going into it, the storyline, the lyrics, all of that. And yeah, this is Kyoksa tongue again don't know what that it translated to like either george or memory candy i'm not sure with which one like but i'm confused because with george it would be like joji or whatever but then i'm i don't facts we're gonna check this out now i'm excited this is the title track kyok <sighs> satang three two one click play Oh, yeah, no, this is a Billy song. The Machne started it out. Hold up, hold up. Are we abandoning the bike? There's like a fire going on back there, an explosion, maybe. I. The pianos are nice. Ooh, the bass. Follow them back. What happened to Snowy Man? First of all, it's not even Snowy. How is he here right now? <laughs> That's my goat. That is my... That is my goat. And she's on the trampoline again. Kind of like with the, tra with the trampoline music video. She was on... You're so pretty. Oh, so to keep up. Oh, why are you trying to eat a diamond? That's gonna break your teeth. Oh, 
Oh, are you hurt? Pick one candy. Bite him. So it's memory candy. Okay, no, no one's doing this jazz K-pop like Billy. I should be honest with y'all. No one's doing this, but Billy. Oh, it's a mystical. Hot is gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> okay, is Sean like the main character? Because I thought, well, Sukhan seems like the main character in Trampoline because of the scene that I guess was just a teaser for this now. So, and why y'all staring at each other like that? That's kind of... But Sean is now seeming like she's getting a lot of scenes. Maybe she's just in the car though and I'm just... Ah, with the skipping of the stuff. Do, 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 do. That's my favorite part of the song so far, like production-wise. That that just goes hard. I like little pauses in, in like instrumentals and stuff like that. It's... What are we listening to? Okay, now you flow him, and I just... Whew, is it like your best rap ever? Do I care? No, it was flowing. No, I tell you what, that shit was flow. Okay, hold on. So you tell me, are you produced this? Okay, fact. Okay, but like, for real, Shiyun hasn't been in this variety show that I'm watching. It's, uh, what's it called? It's, uh, Billy's Village, I believe was the name of it. They, they spent the whole episode coming up with the name, and I already forgot. They were, like, writing on shirts and stuff. Regardless, um, I'm pretty sure it's Billy's Village, and Shiyun couldn't make it because she wasn't feeling too good to, for filming that day. So, like, I'm just, uh, pff, I'm vibing. <laughs> And we still have the trampoline with it. I'm vividly... Whoa, that's kind of like... I'm vividly attracted to the dangerous extent. That's like... You gotta think about that when you read it and you're like, wow. <laughs> yeah, the, the complex words we be... We be getting out the dictionary to write a Billy song. And then all the songs have like some lore thrown in it. Which some people... Because uh, Billy and Espa debuted around the same time. And people had like the same criticism for both of them. And in mix to a certain extent. And a lot of groups. But especially because uh, they were all getting... It was like, ah, I, I like the song. But I saw comments like... But why do they keep talking about like... Like, all the lore stuff. I don't want to hear about Snowy Man in the song. I don't want to hear about The Thing or November. I don't want to hear about Kwong. Yeah, I don't want to hear about all these things, you know? Mixtopia, what the hell is that doing in the song? And people are just like, but... If they're setting up a storyline, why can't their songs be about it? If they have a theme that they're going with, they could just, you know, it's it's like you never had a problem with it when you watched a Disney musical. You watch the Disney musical and the songs, have to do, but like all of a sudden a, a K-pop group does it. Oh, I just came to K-pop to, to enjoy some good music. It, it takes me out when they're singing about something. Ah, but when it was in the musical, it puts you in the mood. It puts you in the storyline. Yeah, okay, all right, buddy. <laughs> She's so stunning. Come to your mind. Okay. Y'all are wow. Why'd you slam the brakes on like that? We're here, I guess. Why are we stomping these things out? Where are you going? Why are you looking us at? 
He's so misted. Okay, now we're hugging all. I was letting the song build, but like, oh, first of all, first of all, first of all, like, absolutely. <laughs> I hit the visuals back to back that were just like, yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> wow. Y'all don't see what I see, man. If y'all saw what I, if y'all could see her through my eyes, you'd be like on your knees at every given moment. But that is flip reset. <laughs> That's at least like a six. <laughs> Tell you what. <laughs> okay, but the, the the melodies was good. I like the echoey. Wait! Now we're all together. Okay, I like this. Bailey, that's us. And that also says, but someone's going to need to explain the lore to me, but hold on. Wait, I am vibing. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Because I want to connect this back to their movies, because we didn't really have a movie this era, like I said, which is fine. Again, if they're taking some time away from all the, like, the strenuous acting and all this stuff they have to do for, for especially this era, the first era back as OT7. I'm fine with that, you know? Um, I hope we don't completely abandon those, like, trailers and movies and stuff we used to release because they were really cool and helped us build a storyline that is one of the coolest storylines in K-pop, might I add. But it is a confusing storyline. Like, I'm one of those people who sometimes I can, I can admit when a story is a bit too complex. I can also appreciate what they're trying to do. And I feel like it's a bit of both with Billy. Where I'm sitting there and I'm like... It's so complex that I feel like most of the fandom, we all have theories on things, but a lot of us don't fully understand what's going on. But at the same time, we're all pretty invested. If you're like, actually believe, if you're like in the fandom, you're pretty invested in the storyline side of things, because why wouldn't you be? And then it's just confusing. <laughs> it's confusing, but we all do have theories about things. I just, I don't, I feel like they're almost embarking on like a new part of the story here. Like this is something I'm not supposed to understand yet. It's kind of just like, a thing that's happening but i don't know man we'll hey we'll see we'll see i'm still going up to the 11 that's still me i'm still here i'm locked in but like i'm just saying <laughs> been going there since literally since trailer one ah, that part's so good Oh no, guys, God, no, you got. Is this a B side? Or is this just. Shut up and I worked on this. Why is there a tear for me? Am I stop? Don't cry. I went, I've, I've already done this. I've done this multiple times. I've done this multiple times! We're over that now! Appendix of all we have lost. The new era. We're here. Stop. I'm not finished. No. That was, wow. <laughs> God, I love this group. <sighs> mm -hmm. We still got the, the ill, still got the 11. And the I and the mystic story, shout out mystic story, yeah. Um, okay, so. <laughs> wow. I just, yeah. Everyone that worked on this, of course, as always. Um. <laughs> Cause like, I gotta watch it again. I just got to. I just got to. I just got to. <laughs> so it's like they were looking. So now we've incorporated this into the storyline, Loki. This is Loki part of the storyline now. Like we kind of lost our ways. She was on the trampoline. She was by herself. 
And it's almost like they were driving around looking for her when they were in the car. They were driving all around the desert. They were like, oh, stop. I think, I think I'm think i on to her. And they're, like, they're trying to locate her. She's been lost. Back at staring at this TV, mind you. We've had the staring at the TV thing going for a while, too, where there's always someone, it seems like, in one of their trailers just lost into a, an older TV, like a box TV. So they're just staring into it for whatever reason, be it Shiyun or, or whoever it is. But then Sua, it's almost like they were kind of directing her around this house. A lot of her shots seemed more indoors with Tsuki. It's like we're almost there. We're looking for her. They're a bit more onto the case than everyone else. But who cares? They all show up at the same time to make a nice ending shot. Um, But it's like she finds her and then it's like... But yeah, it is kind of like heartwarming in a, in a way because... We obviously know what happened with her, specifically with her, but then at the same time, and I feel like a lot of it, she's just such a caring member, it seems from all the content I've watched. She's uh, maybe not the most extroverted person, but still has, like cares for other people and, and, and an emotional person. And like when you've got her who you know then goes full circle into this situation plus probably some some other stuff that's going along with her she's she's got a lot that that builds into her career too she's been famous for a while to a certain degree at least and so it's just like well both of them have that whole thing and it's just like they just had to step away okay and to see her being the one comforting her and finding her in the storyline just as a fan especially after watching that first fan event they had in Korea or whatever. I saw like a translated version of that. Like the first time they technically spoke to the fans as Seven and they did that whole thing. And it's just like, yeah, I don't know what to say. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's just wow. Wow. And she's comforting her and also hugging her. She is like, she covered IU on the Billy channel and now you wrote this song and now you're like congratulations also in a way for something like that like an IU produced title track so I'm just yeah that's what I'm saying man that's what I'm saying man that's what I'm s I I <laughs> no facts see I, I remember someone saying comments on Instagram when this was all getting teased they were like an IU song and I was like wait that does say IQ in the credits um, but yeah, I forgot that until like halfway through reacting to this. But yeah, I you wrote this, so um, it was groovy. We were vibing. Groovy is typically not my favorite way to describe a song, but it was groovy. <laughs> the music isn't more famous when there's that. I could say it for hours. I could say it for hours. Also true. Also true. How many UNS are here? That's fags. <laughs> If we get Billy on I use palette, oh my god, I swear. Okay, 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 okay. Get it together, get it together. It's fine. Everything's cool. We're gonna go listen to the album now on Patreon. We're gonna go listen to the album now on Patreon. We have four songs to listen to. Whichever one is my favorite, um, these do have lyrics, which is cool. Shout out to shout out to uh, Mystic Store for that. Uh, whichever one. I vibe the most. I'll just put in the video right now on YouTube, completely free for y'all to stay. But if you want to go check out my reaction to all the songs, five bucks a month, you can see every, or just one time, one time payment, you can see every album reaction I've ever done. I'm talking all of them. And there's over a hundred, um, including some Billy albums. So, hey, but I'm just trying to grow my channel one friend at a time. That is one believe at a time. Or if you happen to be a multi of other groups like I do as well, that is one whatever you happen to be at a time because I'm a pretty big stand, stand a ton of groups. Um, but yes, um... I'm excited to be here, excited to go listen to the album. So without any further ado, let's cut to my favorite B-side and yeah. S Superman, <laughs> did you hear Super Did you hear January 0th? But, but especially did you hear Superman? Oh my God. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> BTTB, back to the basics. Um, because they abbreviated this means this is probably a good song. I feel like most K-pop songs, when they could have called it this, but instead they called it this, it's always, they always just go hard. I don't know why. Uh, so don't forget to like it on here and on streaming services. And let's check it out. 3, 2, 1, click play. Okay, well, 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 what did I tell you? I said it was going to go hard. <laughs> Breathing wild, 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 yeah. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, 
flip it. A coin, we're so extensive. Ooh, we'll go the mall, it's so expensive. Uh, walk out with all of uh, that shit, it's on me. Uh, you know it, you know the name is Billy. Ooh. Extensive. Shout out the reference to flipping your coin now. Coma. Put it in another. And put it, and get, get, come up in the coma, get put into another coma because we Billy with it. One on one nine. We seven now. Yeah, I'm not gonna slide past that. Like you ain't just hear that. We seven now. Like now we for a second we wasn't, but now we seven again. And that's like part of the theme of the album. And it's. Uh, Okay, they just referencing all their songs. I'm hearing it. You're referencing like everything. Like, okay, I'm hearing it though. I'm hearing it though. Keep it late, man. Wow. Back to the basics. Back to the basics. Oh my God, are you hearing the instrumental? You're not listening. No, listen a little more. Ring, snowy night, King coming out here. Ring the bell, you know. Like I think they named about twelve of their songs. <laughs> this one verse. <laughs> okay, that's my favorite flow switch in the whole song. Though we don't need a boyfriend or Superman. Tell him. Da 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 Really loves how she feel me? No, the drum bell. What was that? We 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 went. Okay, hold on. I'm listening. Yeah, 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 let's picture that. Okay, the harmonies are nice. No, you're not finna. Why was there so much soul in that? It's not even like a harmony, it's just like a run that was nice with the harmony. With the. No, you not. No, you not listening. One more time. 
when it was Billy and R&B group, okay, they kind of have a boy, boy, wow, what? <laughs> Nevertheless, it's a great song too, by the way, and so is Brave and the Yo, that's the best one. That's the best one. Don't forget to like. Let's just let's just give that a a, a nine point seven, and let's move on to a song called Shame, which I think we're gonna switch it up to a more serious tone with this, or maybe not like super sad and somber, but just more like. Like, serious, like, like, the lyrics are gonna, I need to, like, really lock in. Now, this is got Snowy Man in it, so maybe it's not as serious. I don't know, honestly, I just want to hear it. Let's check it out. This is Shame by Billy. That was lit. Oh, my God. Shame me. <laughs> All right, so, well, hey, did you like that song? I, I think it's a banger, personally. Pers personally, I think it's a banger. I think... A lot of people are going to like that song. I think it's more caterable towards general K-pop fans because y'all don't want to sit down and y'all don't want to listen to Billy's intricate music. Y'all don't want to hear the cool jazz production. Y'all don't want to hear the cool random elements going on in the talented vocals. And, and at the end of the day, y'all don't want to hear slow songs especially. Y'all really just want to get hype and have a have a jam as you will. So, like, I feel like it... But, like, hey, I think that they killed that, okay? Now, I like the whole album. I'm going to lie. The last three songs... I'm not gonna lie. What? No, I'm gonna lie. They were they were ass. No, the last three songs were really good. Last three songs were really good, but that one was my favorite. I can't lie. That was my favorite. See, even that dog, he he was, bruh. I'm telling you, we was all getting lit for this song. So <laughs> that's a fact. Um, y'all go stream the album, and I I'm just glad that Billy as Seven is like back in all the content I watch going forward, be that vlogs or whatever, my own time or whatever. I just get to see Seven people. It's just my favorite. My old bias is back. Like I am living my life now. <laughs> but um, yeah, y'all give uh Billy a like on their channel to support them. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video. And with all that being said, I'm gonna get out of here now. So friends, I hope you yes you have a good day, morning or night, whatever time it is for you, or wherever you are in the world. With that being said, peace. Stan Billy, but come believe today. Goodbye. <laughs>